Ten bucks. We'll see what we can do for you. Let's move you up to row five. Thank Excuse you me, very ma much. Ma'am? Yes. I'm hearing from the people in the back. Of the You're actually accepting money for upgrades. No, we're not doing that. We weren't doing That's anything. We're just a friendly thing. These are That's charitable donations. Ma'am, I'm going to have a place you're under arrest. Can I take a pencil? Oh, God. I'm trying to help these people. The right to an attorney. So if you cannot afford one, we'll be provided for you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used to get you to afford a Actually, a lot of fun. That Thank was you. actually really cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. So uh, Jesse is back, and I didn't even have to bribe him. Last time I had, I had big buffalo wings waiting for you. Okay. The best part about her big buffalo wings, uh -huh. um, besides the big cold beer that I got, <laughs> um, which this, this isn't, um, <laughs> they were the real buffalo chicken wings. Anybody here from Western New York? Anybody over there? So you know what a real She's buffalo got a chicken? She's couple over is. here. I'm saying, like, they were they're, good. they're specific, and you hooked it up. Thank you. I did a good job, because he came back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. So this time, we didn't really need to bribe him at all. And I, I hear, actually, our producers are telling me that you're you're not bad in the kitchen. Are you pretty good in the kitchen? That's a lie. I, I, <laughs> that is an absolute lie. No, I'm terrible in the kitchen. Um, Nothing. You don't have one guy thing you could, every man I mean, needs I could to put together something. pasta, you know, like, boil it, and... But it's always like mushy and it's never that al dente thing that everybody talks about. Um, I'm not really sure if you're supposed to salt the water or you're... Okay, next time you're going to entertain, you call me, I will talk you through it because it is the sexiest, smartest thing any guy can do on date night. You've got to have a meal that you can just throw down. It is you're a right. must. You're absolutely right. I mean, that seems like a grown man thing that you should know how to do. I'm is, telling is you, anybody cook a good can make meal, a at least once. You want to make an impression, you make somebody dinner. That's the way to do it. I, I, okay, you have to do right. Okay. I don't offer, you know, it's not like I don't have five jobs. I don't offer everybody free good Well, I'm just lessons. saying, like, you know, don't fret when I call and, you know, like, what? What? Why are you calling me? You know, I'm like, <laughs> no, I, I need dinner. Happy. I mean, no, I, like... I would be happy to help. As long as it's for a good cause. You get somebody really good you want to impress, I'll help you out. All right, I'll, all right, I'll walk right, cool. you through it. It's a deal. So we were coming upstairs from our, our little scene that we did down there in the street, and you were saying something that um, Lena Canacridi said when she was here. You used to work in this building. I did. I did. One of my first television jobs was in this building. It might have even been on this floor. Um, it was? It was Guiding Light. Yeah, guiding I worked on Light. Guiding Light. Um, <laughs> it was a very small part. I mean, it lasted for a little while, but it was a really, really, really small part. I was, uh, uh, do you guys know Nia Long? You know who Nia Long is, right? You know, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous woman. She was uh, one of the young kids on the show, and I was, I think, her first boyfriend. And I was... You got mustard in the face, you told me. I so did, I got mustard to the face. It didn't work uh, out the girls play well a pr you. prank on her, on <laughs> us, and, you know, before I knew it, we had mustard on the face. And, you know, the big thing about doing soap operas, particularly if you're doing, like, a recurring role, you never know when they're over. That day, with the mustard on the face, <laughs> I was quite sure that I was done. And I was. <laughs> well, it didn't work out for you too bad. I mean, you've had nine successful exactly. years now on... on. Exactly, exactly. Hey. I think the longest running show in... In television history, it's fine. It, 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 well, that's what Dick is hoping. I mean, we, we haven't beaten Gunsmoke yet, but that's what he wants. You're coming close, though. We're really close. You're in the really neck close. of the woods. We're you're in, in the, the neck of the woods. So we got to do is hang on. Now, do you? Well, you got a great you got a great shot at that because of the new cast. It's it's just put a whole new shot in the arm into things. Yeah, we're swinging it a little bit now. I like it. I love it. it. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love, it. It. I I like love it. the shake up. How do you like working with Jeremy Sisto? Because I just he is loved an absolute him. trip. Loved him on the HBO show. Yeah, yeah on Six Feet Under. Absolutely yeah, one of my favorite show. shows. He is, is, is a great guy, first of all. He's a really, really good actor. You know, we're close to the same age. We've got the same sensibilities about a lot of stuff. We play poker together, so, you know, it's a good match. So, uh, you play a cop very well, and I, you. you have many talents, too. <laughs> is, is it weird to see Rent closing? I mean, that was another... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, I, I think the smartest thing they did was announce it so early. I mean, because they mm -hmm. don't plan to close till June. Um, 
and then hopefully they can get a lot of, you know... Give people a fair warning. Yeah, a fair warning so a lot of people can come in. But the best part about it, I think, even if it does finally just close, at least on Broadway, is there's going to be all these young kids, these young theater communities uh, that are going to want to do the show. And I can't wait to see the what show kind go of... on forever. Well, I, mean, I can't wait to see what kind of productions they come That's up right. with. You That's know, right. Because we had ours, and, you know, give it to the world, and the world comes back with other productions. So... Do you have any other hidden talents? I mean, so, you know, we hidden. all know you got a great voice, you're a great actor, but what, are, I mean, you, uh, so you don't cook? And no, you don't I don't play cook. Instruments. Um, I can paint, I can draw. Sweet. Um, I'm a little bit of a sculptor. That's a nice, it's, sexy it, one. It's just weird to say sculptor, but you know, you know, I know how to right use my here, hands. This, this cameraman, Jimmy, here, yeah. he discovered two years ago he could sculpt, and today he brought me in a bust of The Godfather. It is good. Are you serious? Unbelievable. A bust? A bust of The Godfather. He did a beautiful I don't know if sculpture. I'm that good. You know. <laughs> Is that something you've always been good at, or did you just pick that up recently? Well, when I was in school, I went to one of these uh, experimental school programs um, where... They didn't do was... experiments on you. No, they, no, they no. Let no. You... I mean, well, they actually kind of did. <laughs> they, they put sort of this experimental education program on us to see if it would work, and it did. I mean, and there was one part where I think we got about two months off of school, and we went to classes of a career that we chose. Mm -hmm. And I chose... To be a sculptor. I don't know why at the time. I just it wanted to touch good. clay. And, and uh, yeah. we were on a, a college campus, the school. It was an elementary school, but it was in the middle of a college campus. And they had the best sculptor studio, and I used to walk by it. Wow. So I'd see these sculptures, and I'm like, I want to do that. And I wasn't great at it at all, you know, but I was in elementary school. Now I'm, I'm pretty good with my hands. That, uh, now, okay, I'm going I'm to take back everything I said about cooking because that is even sexier. You bring a girl over. Maybe I'm a baker. Say, and you say, hey, I sculpt. Can I feel your curves or whatever? I mean, that's a pretty good line. That's, that's a nice place to that go. That is actually kind of corny. That is, that is <laughs> But really it's a place corny. to go. I mean, who didn't love ghosts, right? In the sexy scene where she's throwing the pottery and then she gets thrown around. Yeah, but that's I mean, so that long good. ago that even that's corny now. Like, I, you know, I wouldn't throw that out. It is on. a little cliche. I hope you could just be cleaning the, the clay off or something. That'd be good. Well, maybe I can go do the dough thing and, and turn that into baking. Oh, or, yeah, there With you your go. help. Sculpt some dough. Uh, well, Sculpt a pizza or... I said... I'm, I'm here you know, for you. Cake. I said I'm here for you. Thank you, love. So I want to hear the story about stolen luggage because I hear it's a really good one. We're going to hear uh, that from him when we come back and talk more, <laughs> of course, about my favorite show on television. <laughs> right In a few, we're taking Jesse all the way back to his first day on Law & Order. I was so scared. My hand was shaking like this. And later, find out what gives my Popeye risotto so much muscle. And then you give it a stir, and that's what gives it the creamy consistency. 